This is the Coppola Theater. There's uh, 145 seats. The classes max out at 130 students. We have a 2K projector in here and uh, all brand new upholstery and carpet, so it's kind of nice and clean at this point. Uh, theory classes, history classes, genre classes happen in here. Three hour classes, usually uh, you have time to discuss a film and then look at the film and discuss it again. Um, every student has at least one class in here at some point in the first couple of years because uh, this is where most of it goes on. This room is used from 9 in the morning till almost 10 at night. So it's a very well used room. There is a 5.1 output available through the Blu-ray if you need it, but uh, generally everything's played out mono or stereo out of the front of the house. Let's move on. Hello, my name is Bethany Sparks and I'm a professor here at SF State. I teach sound design and this is Studio A. In Studio A, the students have the opportunity to have final mixes for their films. They can do this in stereo or in surround sound. And we also have several courses where you can learn sound editing and mixing in a professional manner through Pro Tools. Uh, and we use that to use this mix board to mix films and edit films. Um, and students get an opportunity to do that here at SF State. So this is Studio C. This is our Foley stage and our voice recording stage. We use this for all of our sound classes. Students have an opportunity to use this to record actors, or to record sound effects uh, for their projects. Uh, so if you look at the different surfaces we have, of course these are great for creating footsteps uh, and also breaking things and dropping rocks and uh, doing that while watching the film itself. This is the sound stage in the Fine Arts Building. It's about a 45 by 45 room. Um, we have tungsten lighting all on stand, so anybody can come in here and start shooting. Usually uh, classes in uh, set design, things like that happen in here. Cinematography classes happen in here. Um, it's a somewhat dangerous room, so if you're gonna be using it, if anybody uses it, they have to have supervision. Students really can't be in here working alone. Uh, we have a dolly, we have dolly tracks. We have a bunch of uh, set pieces and also in the other room we have more set pieces. Some classes take place in here. We have chairs we'll set up sometimes. Um, otherwise it's uh, just reserved by students when they want to shoot in a soundstage. They can reserve it on Thursday, set it up, and by Sunday night they have to be all broken down again. It's usually, usually a one or two day shoot. That's how it usually goes in here. Everything you need to make a movie is right here. Uh, the equipment is given out to students by allocation depending on what class they're in. So uh, beginning classes actually get these uh, Pocket City cameras and by the time they're in their final years they have C300s, C uh, Mark IIs and things like that. Um, mostly LED stuff is available here but we also have some, some uh, tungsten lighting. We have uh, RE kits, we have four RE kits and just some Kino flows and things like that. There's also some film equipment in here. We have uh, area SRs and Bolexes for the classes that, if students want to take classes that use film. There's also several different sound uh, systems and uh, everything you would need. You know, tripods, people to repair things for you. And uh, this room, as you get to the final years, everything is available for you. So you get what's called carte blanche when you're doing your thesis films and when your MFA films are being done.